What's good, fellas? This is Trey. Welcome to this presentation. The topic for today is women come and go, but you stay alpha. You stay masculine. You stay a beast. What do I mean by this? When you go and approach a woman, you should literally be looking at this woman like, okay, here's an opportunity for me to demonstrate that I'm a fucking man. Here's an opportunity for me to demonstrate my alpha. Here's an opportunity for me to demonstrate that I don't give a fuck about rejection. I don't give a fuck who's watching me. I don't give a fuck what happens here. I see a woman I find attractive. I'm going to express myself and I'm gonna I'm walk in as a man and I'm gonna leave as a man. It's as simple as that, right? When you get in a relationship with a woman, you hold your balls, you stay a man within the relationship. You don't break. She's gonna test you. She's gonna try to get you to bend. She's gonna try to turn you into a beta male. But this is your opportunity to show how strong you are. Life is an opportunity for you to build your character, for you to create your movie. And the tests that come along the way is to see the type of man that you are. It's a test, man. These women will say certain shit to you. Oh, I have a boyfriend. Oh, this and that. Oh, he's not my type. Blah, 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 blah. To see if you're going to break. But if you don't break, all of a sudden they're like, well, you know, I was just kidding or blah, blah, blah. They start, they start going backwards and pulling back. Right? Because they, they want to test, right? They want to see if you're bluffing. They want to see if you're truly a grounded, masculine man. They want to see if you're truly alpha. So they're going to test. And not just women. Men are going to test you too. Men are going to test you to see the type of man you are. That's, that's one thing I notice. Is like, and, and they'll try to be indirect about it and shit like that. But that's where you apply your intelligence and you apply the stoic philosophy. You don't react to nobody. You don't react to these bitches. You don't re react to these dudes these beta males, you don't react to anybody, man. You stay masculine, you stay proactive, you stay grounded, right? You stay disciplined, work on masculine characteristics, bring up your, your courage, become more courageous. Like walk up to these women and say, hello, man. Like stop walking past the girl that you find attractive, right? When a girl shows interest to you, right? Like when a girl is interested in you, like don't walk on eggshells and oh, what do I say, what do I do? Tell her how you feel, man. If you like her, tell her you like her. And if she doesn't like you back, then fuck it. You go on to the next girl. You got to be the type of man that you, you're not worried about getting a woman. You're worried about getting women. What does that mean? You are designing yourself to become the type of man who gets women. Right? When you get women, you don't have to compromise. You don't have to... Walk on eggshells. You don't have to try to get a girl to like you because if she doesn't like you, there's always another one waiting. Another one that can't wait to be with you. And that's the mindset you have to have. So when you have that mentality, now you can express yourself freely. Authentic expression, right? If you can't express yourself freely, you're going to feel trapped forever. You're going to be miserable. You got to get to a point where you can say whatever the fuck you want to say and do whatever you want to do, right? And that's what it means to be a beast, man. That's what it means to be a grounded and masculine man. So you got to understand women are going to come and go, right? And just don't take them so seriously, man. Don't, don't, like, you can't be afraid to lose these women because they're emotional. Like, I talk, I'm talking, I've been bringing up this topic now, emotional and, and feelings and shit like that. That shit is temporary. But we as men, we are logical. We bring order to our life. We bring intelligence to our life, right? We bring discipline to our life. Right? If we say something, we mean it. We don't change our change our word because we don't feel like it anymore. And that's what women do. Right? If they don't feel something, then all of a sudden they switch up on you. The whole the whole vibe changes and shit like that. We can't be like that. We gotta hold our frame. Right? And if she starts breaking, we stay strong. Right? Like that's what it means to lead a woman. She's looking to us, right? When the feminine energy shows up, it's looking to the the masculine energy to lead and provide that order. Right and provide that structure and that discipline that gets that leads her feminine energy to success. Cause if she on her own is chaotic, she's all over the place. Shit is just going all over, and you know she's depressed and anxiety and this and that. And, that. and you show up and you bring that order. You calm. You're relaxed. You're grounded in your masculinity. Nothing could phase you. And that's that's just what it is. And women, that's what they're looking for. When you show up with that energy, it's just so fucking easy, man. Right, that's what I'm telling. Like, you never hear me talk about a pickup line. You never hear me talk about 
say this and this and that. This and no, because it all it's about your energy. It's how you show up. If you show up as a masculine, grounded man, if you show up as an alpha male, if you show up with authentic expression, if you show up as a leader, if you show up as a man who doesn't give a fuck about rejection, you show up as a man who's not afraid of fear, who's not afraid to step into the unknown, you're showing up as a beast. And she's going to submit. She submits to strength. When a man of strength, and I'm not just talking physical strength, I'm talking mental and emotional strength. Because that's what she's lacking in. She's lacking in physical strength too, but we're not in caveman days. That shit doesn't matter as much now. Now it's about mental and emotional strength. Can you deal with life? Can you deal with life? Because life is a mental and emotional game. It's not so much physical anymore. Right? That's, that's like a very small, the physical is a very small percentage of it. But she's looking for the guy who can create the life that she wants, like could lead her in the direction she wants to go. And that's what we got to be. But we, but we got to be detached, man. We got to be detached from these, from these girls, man. Right. We got to be detached in the sense that we can't be taking them so seriously. Like you are a king. Remember this. You are a king. You are a beast. Right? You are the prize. You are what's valuable in a relationship. You are what she needs. You don't need her. You want her, right? Because what? She's cute, whatever. She's feminine. It's nice to have feminine energy around. Whatever, especially if she has similar values. It's cool. But you understand that you don't need her, right? She's just here to compliment you. She's supposed to make your life better the same way that you make her life better, right? And the minute that she becomes a distraction, the minute she starts bringing negativity to you, the minute she starts, you know, making your life a, 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 a miserable or whatever, you kick her to the curb, man. You got to have that mentality of abundance, right? It's not just about one woman. It's about you being attractive to many women, right? And that's, I'm telling you, it's you getting into your masculine energy. Like you just cut the, the nice guy bullshit. Cut the, oh, I need to make people like me. Cut the... I need validation. Cut the old oh, people are judging me. Just stop giving a fuck and just start going after your goals. Going after your vision. Going after your purpose. Whatever you feel like doing, start doing that shit. And start developing yourself so you become more valuable. Start building up some talents. Look at your gifts. What, like, what gifts have you been given? What are you good at? Amplify that shit. Take it to the highest level possible. Right? And don't give a fuck who watches, who's following you who's who just don't don't worry about nobody else worry about yourself level yourself up to beast mode level and once you get to a certain level what i found is once you and and really all this is is like you gotta you gotta start loving yourself more okay you gotta start loving yourself more respecting yourself more and you gotta get to a place where you feel whole where you feel like there's nothing anyone can give you that you can't give yourself once you get to that point now you can truly go out there and give now you can truly go out there and love a girl now you can truly go out there and make someone's day. You can truly go out there and make a difference. But first, you got to work on your character. You got to become grounded in your masculinity. You got to become able to express yourself authentically and not give a fuck what anyone thinks. You got to be able to lead. You got to be able to go after your goals and go after your vision. And stop trying to impress people. Stop trying to fit in. Stop trying to conform. Stop trying to fuck all that, man. Let your childlike spirit go out. Like Remember when we used to be kids? And we go out and recess and we'll just let loose. We can do that now. It's just now we're more intelligent about it. Now there's a vision. Now there's order. Now there's a direction we're going. Right? That's why you need to set goals. Every single morning I write my goals down. I know what I'm doing. Yes, I'm putting masculine energy out there. Yes, I'm aggressive. Yes, I'm assertive. Yes, I'm right. But there's order. There's a reason. And my reason benefits others. If I do my shit, other people get better. That's the type of man you want to become. Find your talent. Find your gift. Find how you can benefit others because that's your value. And then you just show up with your value. You don't have to impress anybody. You just be you. But first, you have to become valuable. They tell you to be yourself. That's the stupidest advice I've ever heard. Be your best self. Show up as your best self. Show your value. Communicate your value. Show people how they will benefit from you. And people will want to be around you. It'll be easy to get women. Women will, will you know, kick down your door to be with you. Because they, if they can see your value, they will chase you. The reason women are not chasing you is because you're not communicating your value effectively. Right? Maybe you have value and you're not communicating it. Or you need to raise it to higher levels so it can get, pe get the female's attention. 
right? But you're not doing it for her attention. You're doing it because you want to become a beast, because you want to level up, because you want to tap into your potential, because you want to make a difference, because you want to mean something to the world, right? You want to make an impact, right? Leave a legacy, right? Make your family proud. Make yourself proud. So you just step into that masculine energy. That's where it's at, man. Assertive energy, all right? So if you need help with this, if you need help stepping into your masculine energy, if you need help becoming more authentic in your expression, being a leader, becoming more attractive to women, becoming a beast, hit me up. I have a program. It's called the Unbreakable Beast Program. It's an eight-week program. Me and you working together one-on-one -on -one for eight weeks. All right? It's $9.97, but here's what I'll do, okay? If you reach out to me, um, I'm doing a free... Uh, one-on-one -on -one coaching session. So jump on the free one-on-one -on -one coaching session. I'm going to help you. I'm going to give you some advice. And if I feel like we're, we'll be a good fit together, I'll give you a deal. Okay, I'll hook you up with a deal. So it won't be $9.97. I'll, I'll cut it down a little bit lower just to hook you up because I really want to help you guys, right? But only the people that are committed, right? Only the men that are committed because it's not going to work if you're not committed. It's a daily thing. You can't miss days. You can't say, oh, today I don't feel like it. So I'm going to just take the day off. Fuck that, man. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.